Hi guys, how y'all going? I hope y'all have been enjoying the content, trying to post videos a little bit more often for you. But um, today, what I have to show you are 10 products, or I should say 10 drugstore or 10 budget products that I think are just as good as high-end. So I have some comparisons to show you, and this is based on my use of these products and what I noticed. So I can actually substitute a high-end product for something that's cheaper, you know, save those coins, you know, and buy something that you really want. So um, let me see where I'm going to start. So I have mainly makeup items and just two skincare items that I'm going to share in this particular video so the first one is uh, under eye satin powder and I have here the Kat Von D brightening powder in the shade golden I absolutely love 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 this powder I'm not great getting rid of it because I'm in love with it so much um, it really brightens the under eye I find a lot of complexions could use this Kat Von D did really really good on this product um, Laura Mercier as you all know that translucent powder I've put that out of my my arsenal for a long time um, after I found this and the Too Faced Peach Satin Powder really great product but this is 25 US dollars and this product which is the Maybelline Fit Me this is a loose finishing powder but I use this to set my under eyes because I use the shade light medium under my eyes and this gives the most flawless set under your eye like if they're even pores even around this area because you know when you put your concealer you bring it down the sides of your nose and you use this powder with a damn beauty blender over your concealer poreless and flawless it's a really really good option and i have the prices here right so the Kat Von D powder is 25 us versus 6 us so it's like 25 percent of the course wonderful um, the next product is an eyeshadow primer and the Urban Decay Primer Potion was for a long time um, the Holy Grail eyeshadow primer for a lot of people. Now there is a difference between eyeshadow, eyeshadow primer and eyeshadow bases. So I'm talking about primers here. Primers will really help the longevity of your shadows. Um, if you have oily lids and so on, it's going to help um, combat that, smoothen everything out. Um, and there are eyeshadow primers that will also help pigmentation of eyeshadows but of course you could put an eyeshadow primer and then you can put a base on top of it which is usually like a white base or concealer or something like that you know when you want to cut the crease and all that drama but I'm talking about primer so the Urban Decay Primer Potion which is 24 US dollars and it's a good product um, but I have found this one which is the Milani eyeshadow primer and I have used this for like maybe three or four years and since I started using this I haven't repurchased the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So this is one of those products that took the place of a higher end product. And this is like 7 US. So 24 versus 7. And this is really good. I also do find that this primer not only helps the longevity of the shadows, but it also helps with pigmentation and boosting pigmentation. So you find like if I'm doing a natural look, nothing that's very colorful like what I have on my eyes today, um, that I could use this primer and you would see it's like almost a skin color thing when you take it out, but then it just completely blends into um, something that's very, very invisible. It will mattify your lids without making it dry and crepey, um, but it will go directly into the skin and really give you a great canvas to work on with regards to your eyeshadows. The third item I'm going to talk about is an under eye concealer. So my last makeup favorites video, I talked about how I rediscovered my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Love it, love it, love it. And then I was thinking about, you know, why I hadn't used my NARS for so long because I told you guys that I picked it up for a recent trip and, you know, just redis rediscovered my love for it. But the reason why I had put it down is because I remember that I had discovered this. This is the Maybelline um, Fit Me Concealer and the NARS Concealer is 30 US and this is 6 or $7. In fact, when it's on sale, you can even get it like for $3.99 or $4.99 US. Um, in the States and um, this is why I had put down the NARS because this gives me almost the exact same coverage, the exact same finish. It is not drying under the eyes at all so it's not going to emphasize fine lines and this lasts all day. It lasts a very, really really long. So Maybelline and I don't know if you all realize that the powder that I mentioned before was also part of the Maybelline Fit Me line so clearly Maybelline is doing something correct when it comes to this particular line that they have. And the next um, thing I'm going to talk about is a brow gel. Now, not many people use brow gels, but I need to because my hair is like 
the truth is my brows grow here and then they grow like below they don't connect so I actually have to make sure I fill in my brows properly but because of that especially the ones at the tail the hairs at the tail they could be strayers and don't want to comply whether they put pencil or gel so I need to use a brow gel to make sure I set my brows so that they're not going to move um i'll talk about the first, the high-end one first which is the brow gal by tonya crooks and these are 22 us so i have this one which is her clear water resistant brow gel so it's just really really clear regular mascara one and all of that and this is 22 us and then i also have this also by the brow gal which is um the instant instant tint brow here so this one is a brow gel but this one has like fine here so to kind of volumize while it's setting your brow um, first of all if I have to choose between these two I'm gonna choose the original one because it is water, water resistant and the brows stay better but while these are 22 US this product here which is six US dollars I'm on my third tube of this this is the best brow gel that I've tried. I love the Colourpop one, it's really good. I rotate between that one and this one. But this, hands down, um, and this was a recommendation of Emily Noel from years ago. I always repurchase this. I use the shade uh, medium to dark. So this is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. And again, it, it has a mascara one. This one is a little bit tinted, but this holds your brows in place like no other. I have that on my brows. You don't get that crunchy look. You don't, the, the brows don't look glossy or anything. That looks perfectly set. And my days are long. I wear makeup for 14, 16 hours at a time. My regular work day and I come home and my brows are still in place. And that says a lot because I know the types of brows <laughs> that I have, right? So, I mean, if you see this, this is a good investment if you have strayers like me. So product number five is a lash primer and I mean um, I don't wear lashes every day in fact I hardly wear lashes mainly for occasions I'm trying to practice with them a little bit more but I wear makeup every day and lashes I just don't have time to do it so you would find that I really want a good mascara that's going to give me volume and length and all of that drama but if you just have your regular mascaras and it's great and you love it try using a lash primer that's going to take your regular mascara and multiply it by 10 literally so i got introduced to lash primers because of this one which is really good and mine's really really gunky this is the tarte opening act lash primer and i'm really afraid to show you all how it's looking because the wand it's supposed to be all white but you know some mascara would have gotten in there so it's a little bit um a little bit gunky you know but that's from use <laughs> and honestly this is a really really good product um this is 22 us right and when i used to use this a lot more often i would usually buy it when tart has a sale so that i'll get a discount because i mean 22 us and this is a product that i would use every single day but then i discovered another l'oreal product and this one is six us and this is the l'oreal voluminous base lash primer so this is their their primer for lashes and the 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 packaging is almost like the same they have that white packaging and it's because the product inside is white and this one is even more gunkier because this is the one that i've been using so you know just like a regular mascara one and that white thing whatever they call it that's the primer so you put that onto your lashes first just like you would a regular mascara and then you lay your mascara on top of it what it does is it's a it bonds to your natural um, lashes so it always almost, almost makes them thicker and longer so when you put your mascara on it has something that's thicker and longer already to to work on and to build on so definitely definitely this is something i mean if you don't wear lashes or you just want to bump up the mascaras that you already love try a lash primer so that was number five so we have five more categories to look at so as we just spoke about lash primers let's talk about mascaras so i have two here and this one's just a baby two face better than sex when it comes to high-end mascaras i think this one is my favorite mainly because of how fluttery and buttery and gorgeous and full it just makes your natural lashes um the waterproof one is not good don't even bother to try it but this one is my favorite i know some people said that they would get flaking with this mascara but i don't 
and another one that I really love is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This one is the Lights Camera Splashes, which is the waterproof version. Either one of them also very good. But I no longer purchase these, and these are like between 23 to 25 US for the full sizes. I am um, now the only mascaras I buy or I have bought. Oh gosh, I just realized I picked up two of the same thing. That's to tell you how many I have. Uh, the Essence mascaras. I have about five different Essence mascaras right now, maybe five or six. I just picked up two. The Lash Princess ones are probably the most popular. And these, no, they give you length, they give you volume. Like, I remember the first time I tried this, I took a picture and I sent it to Arlene Villarul and I was like, so Arlene, lashes or no lashes? And she thought I actually had on lashes when I had put on that, um, that mascara for the first time and sometimes I layer them the essence mascaras layer beautifully one on top of the other depending on you know how thick you want it or how long you want it or how volumized you want it I just put on all of them like two or three <laughs> I will layer just one layer of each and I love for my lashes look I no longer need to go high-end and mascara is something that you should be changing every three to six months so when you have to spend that money that 25 US or there are some new mascaras high-end like 30 US now I mean that's a lot so I mean again this is all based on preference but if you could save some money in that area why not for something that's gonna do the job and it's gonna last all day and you know look fabulous um, so the next products I'm gonna talk about is a gel liner and this one is the Inglot AMC eyeliner gel in 77 I, we all know it uh, Bay Holy Grail yeah the blackest you know waterproof um, liner um, the problem with this like we all know is that it dries out from the time you say your mother going down the road it don't dry you, you can't it, it don't matter how tight you close it it don't matter how how much attention you pay to ensuring that you keep this product it is dry out so right now you see that crack in the middle there it's to tell you how dry mine is now I still use this and you can use Inglot gel liners because they provide a product called the Duraline so basically you just put a drop in there and it's gonna um, basically bring the product to the consistency or texture that is usable to continue using the product continuously but literally you can keep and use an entire Inglot gel liner without having something like Duraline to be able to use it out so that's going to add to the cost and this is 16 US dollars so and while I love this um, I'm going to show you something that I found and I've been using and I realized wait a minute I love this just as much as I love the Inglot it gives me um, very very long wear it's black um, I love how it performs and I mentioned this before this is the L'Oreal infallible lacquer liner and this is the shade 171 black is black and um, they say that this is a 24 hour liner and they lie like literally it works really really well um, and actually I'm just gonna put oh and one of the main reasons why I also love this beside the fact that it performs almost the same way as the Inglot is that while it's looking as though it's it's dry this is not dry this works perfectly i have not had to put a drop of anything in this i've had this open for a few months well and that is what i like it's keeping the consistency um and i love that you know i'm able to to continue using that so i'm going to show you so i'm swatching here the inglot and the and the l'oreal and the inglot i just have to a bit more. So you can see here this one is the Inglot gel liner and this one is the L'Oreal. Um, you can actually see that I have to kind of pull on the Inglot now that will result if I put the Duraline but really when I use them on my eyes I can't tell the difference they're both very black they, they perform really really good and if you want something that you do have to buy in a company and product try that L'Oreal I mean you all get back to me on it and um, I saw um, I think it was Alicia Edwards she commented and she said that she has tried it's Alicia somebody else tried this particular product in the brown shade for brows and I could imagine this is not moving from my eyes if it's not bleeding if it's not cracking on your brows this will be really really good I haven't tried it but yeah something to keep in mind so we're almost done we have three more products and the next one is highlight so the budget item that I'm going to show you could rival 
any high-end highlighter in terms of wear time, performance, how it looks on the skin, like no sort of building up, bam, highlight. Like you want to glow from here to, to Toko, that is the highlight that you need to use. I was trying to find something in terms of a shade that was really, really close to it because I was just swatching through my collection. And then I realized that the budget highlight I'm going to show you is actually pretty unique in terms of its shade, although it may not appear to be so. But I found this one which is kind of close, and this is the Laura Geller. Um, Gelato Swirl Illuminator and Ballerina and Laura Geller. This highlighter is 24 US. So this one is not such a bad price as some of the high-end highlighters. Um, hmm, let me see if I could swatch it here. So that's that. That's the that's the Laura Geller one. And the budget highlight that I'm showing you is no surprise, the Maybelline Master Chrome, and this one is in molten gold. There is Molten Rose Gold, there is now Topaz, the Deeper Skin Tones, there is now Molten Peach. Peach is the only one that I don't have. I love all of them. They perform beautifully. They last all day. I will put on my makeup at 5.30 in the morning and when I get home at 9 o'clock at night, it's still on my face. It's so creamy and so buttery. Like, look at the difference in intensity. Look at the difference. And, I mean, like, there's no comparison in the shade, like I said, but I swatched this next to Oh Darling. I swatched it next to um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the really popular one. It just, I'm seeing it in my mind, but not coming to me. Prosecco Pop, Champagne Pop, um, some cover effects, highlighters or whatever. And this, while they all look beautiful, this one really, really pops and stands and, and really holds its own. Um, next to those products so yeah I would definitely encourage you we have not gotten any of the master chromes yet to try it um, so that's my highlight um, budget option and then I have two skincare items look how much highlight I still have on my fingers it is got a day on my hands so um, this one should be of no surprise to anybody. I mentioned it just to be able to include it in a video where we compare high-end and budget items. Um, this is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel and this is 28 US. Not a bad price for a high-end product that has been raved about for years. And when I say years, real, real years. Like all these new moisturizers that's coming on the market came and they met this product there. This has been a holy grail moisturizer, especially for daytime, for combination oily skin it's really good yada 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 but this is a brand new one it's in I just took it out of the box to show you I've had it for I hope it's still good but I've had it for quite a long time because I purchased this but then of course I discovered this and the reason why I'm showing the L'Oreal Hydrogenous as the budget friendly option to the Clinique is because in terms of performance and how they feel on the skin this is almost a dupe for the Clinique. They, they don't look anything alike um, at all in terms of the color or whatever, but they feel and they perform very, very similarly. So again, you all know what I have to say about this. I'm not gonna continue talking about it for very long, but this is 28 um, US and this is around 16 um, US dollars. So you are still saving like 11 or 12 dollars on this. Um, so yeah, if you're still on this, I mean, nothing's wrong with it. You can afford Clinique, you want to buy Clinique, great. But if you want to, you know, switch out to a budget option that's going to perform just as good, and I'm, I'm telling you, you're going to fall in love with it, try the L'Oreal. And now we're down to our last product, and this one might be a little controversial, so I left it for last. And the product that I'm going to show you is the Lunar Oil by Sunday Riley. So this is a sleeping night oil. This is our retinal oil. Um, I this is a, a half ounce bottle they last really really long this particular size is 55 US and the larger one is 105 US dollars that's expensive and while it is a great product it performs well because the beauty of the lunar oil is it has the retinoid that is the the key ingredient that they're advertising and pushing for the benefits but in a base of all kinds of beautiful oils you know it's a lot of great facial oils that will also give you some benefit but honey the price of this when mine was almost finishing i had to make a decision 
I want retinol because retinol is one of those ingredients, actually one of the only ingredients that are proven to treat wrinkles and that kind of thing and a huge anti-aging product. I want to continue retinol in my skincare but do I want to pay $105 to get that bottle of good jeans? Ah, sorry, not good jeans, the Luna Oil. Um, and then this product came out and I used it. I got the exact same results and I decided to, wait a minute, let me go check into this to see what is the, the issue or how come I'm getting the same performance from a product that is so much cheaper. And this is from The Ordinary. This is the Grand Active Retinoid, the 5% in squalene oil. Now, not all products by The Ordinary are fantastic. There are some great, great hits and there are also some misses. So you would find that when I'm talking about products from The Ordinary, I'm gonna tell you guys about the ones that I've really noticed, you know, making a difference and it's great for the price. And this one is around 14 or 15 US versus 55 or 100 US. Um, and in fact, how much is in this bottle is twice as much as in this bottle. So if I multiply this by two, then I'm getting 110. So that's the full size is 105 US packaged, 105. Full size of this, 14 US, come on. But this is the key. The key ingredient in both of them, because I remember having a discussion or be, seeing a discussion about, you know, which retinol oil, you know, somebody should choose if, you know, they could purchase it and they could budget it and all of that. And people were saying, you know, go with Luna because, of course, Luna is great. It's Sunday Riley. Sunday Riley produces great products, all of that. Ja, ja, ja. Yeah, we all know that, and that's true. And they said that, you know what, this has retinol, and therefore, retinol, the actual ingredient, retinol, because, of course, retinol, we say retinol, retinoid, they are retinoic acids and all different forms of retinol, right? Um, but it's not true. So when I did my research directly from Sunday Riley and directly from The Ordinary, they are both using the same active ingredient, the same form of retinoid, which is hydroxypinacolone retinoid. That was a mouthful. And they are both using the exact same form of retinoid. And I was like, that makes complete sense to me. That form of retinoid in this is around the sixth or seventh ingredient down the ingredients list. And in this, it's higher up, it's around the fourth or fifth. And this one, the difference is that it's only in a base of squalene oil, not in a base of all the other oils. Now, all the other oils may be what's making Luna oil that expensive. I don't know, I'm not sure. You could probably try to do some research on that. But I'm just trying to figure out in my mind, like, you know, the huge price difference. I understand that there are different price points for different brands and different products, and I'm fine with that. Because really, Luna performs. It's a good product. But this, for way cheaper does the exact same thing your choice but here this is my budget friendly option that would not only rival the luna oil but frankly it has replaced it in my skincare routine so have you guys found you know budget items that could rival high and replace them or probably even beat them comment below share with me your dupes um, or the products that you have found that you've replaced with budget items to save some money. Let's have a discussion down below. It's gonna be interesting to hear what you guys have to say. Did you enjoy this video? Please leave me a like, please share it, and looking forward to seeing you guys again. Bye.